The number of school shooting incidents go up. Every time a firearm is brought inside an educational institution with the purpose to harm others. In 2023, a record-breaking 349 shootings took place, with 21 lives taken and 42 left injured. Or this year, in only seven months, a devastating 183 shootings have occurred, meaning that it most likely will reach the 300 mark, just as the two years before. So, before we start, any last words? It's 1999. Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold enter their school, the Columbine High School, with only one mission, take as many lives as possible. This unfortunately happened. The pair killed 12 students and one teacher, and 24 people got injured. Why they did it? No one really knows. The FBI concluded that Harris was a psychopath who exhibited narcissistic traits unconstrained aggression, and a lack of empathy, while Klebold was concluded to be an angry depressive with a vengeful attitude. Many killers since the shooting have taken inspiration from the pair. They have a small fan base called the Columbiners, who write fan fiction and draw fan art of them. People even have dressed up as the pair on Halloween. It truly is sickening. The shooting, on the other hand, was quickly overshadowed by many more. Virginia Tech, 2007. 32 people killed and 17 injured. Sandy Hook Elementary School, 2012. 26 people killed. Parkland High School, 2018. 17 people killed and 17 injured. Uvalde School, 2022. 21 people killed and 17 injured. It's December 15, 1791. James Madison proposed the Bill of Rights to win support in both houses of Congress and the states. He focused on rights-related amendments, ignoring suggestions that would have structurally changed the government. Ten amendments were proposed, and only one amendment truly shaped America as what it is today, and that is the Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. When a country is so proud of its creation, it tends to overshadow all the negative energy around it. 32% of the American population, personally, owns a gun. That is approximately around 107 million citizens. And with millions of people buying a gun yearly, that number will only grow. More than 2 million citizens claim to have used their gun for self-defense. Comparing that to the 40,000-plus gun-related deaths, no matter the situation, it can be taken as a grain of salt. With so many gun lovers in a country, amending the Second Amendment is most likely not going to happen anytime soon. But could America learn a thing or two? Australia took immediate action after a mass shooting occurred, and the United Kingdom got some of the strictest gun laws in the world. In America, the process of owning a gun is relatively easy. The only thing that is necessary is that you meet the set requirements. Some of the requirements are, be 21 years of age or older, don't be convicted, have no physical defect or a bad history of drug abuse in the last five years. When the requirements are met, the store owner gets in contact with the FBI to check for an instant criminal background check. And if you're not a criminal, congrats, you now own a gun. When we hear about any school shooting incidents, many will probably think, what was the killer's motive? While it never is easy to predict a shooting, in many occasions the motives were always clear. Some got bullied and wanted revenge. Some come from a broken home. Some had mental problems. And unfortunately, there were also some that had no issues, but just wanted to see the world burn. Many schools have experimented with having an armed guard present in the schools or place metal detectors at the entrances. But have these methods been effective so far? A recent study suggested that armed guards in schools don't reduce fatalities. Researchers examined 133 school shootings between 1980 and 2019, and they found no significant reduction in rates of injuries in these cases. In fact, shootings at schools with an armed guard ended with three times as many people killed. Most attacks are carried out in a matter of minutes. 
making it difficult for armed guards to be in the right place at the right time. For metal detectors, the story is not much different. In this article, they spoke to Ben Fisher, a professor who has researched security measures in schools. He admits that detectors do help and can catch a weapon, but they don't help fix the overall issue. It is more about building a structure and community at the schools that makes students feel safe, heard, and have pride in their school and fellow classmates. You can spend some money and put in metal detectors or put on a big show of having police dogs come in, but those aren't the things that make schools safe. If you see any suspicious behavior in or around your school, do not keep it to yourself and tell a teacher or a parent because right now only your alertness can prevent a school shooting the most.